Today I'd like to talk about the spare tire. I've heard a lot of men say a car that doesn't have a spare tire is like a woman that doesn't know how to cook. Meaning yes, she has all the requirements of being a wife, but an important factor lacking, which is cooking, is where she falters. In like manner, a car that functions properly and just out of the blues you hit a sharp object on the road, your tire gets punctured and you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, stranded with no spare tire and nowhere near to get one, like this young man that got stuck with a flat. What a tragedy that will be, don't you think? All right, beautiful people, we are still on Auto Expert TV show. Remember, it's your guide to safety. Now, uh, we are still at the Nigerian Drivers Conference and Exhibition, and right here we have Tire Protector. Uh, we have uh, a gentleman here who's going to introduce himself, and he's going to tell us more about Tire Protector and why they are here at this maiden edition of the Nigerian Drivers Conference and Exhibition. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can we meet you? Uh, my name is Lake Rabiu. I work for Tire Protector Nigeria. I'm the technical man for tire protector. Okay, lovely. I, I see you have um, a tire here with nails all over them. Yes. Is this tire made uh, specially for this demo or no. it works for all tires? Maybe you can explain this for, uh, to the viewers. It's a normal tire that everybody uses. Uh, as you can see, it's not even a new tire, it's an old tire. And this tire, we've been using it like this for the past three years. I can tell you that this tire has over 3,000 penetrations, as nail penetrations. If you look closely, you see that there are nail penetrations all around. You can see them. Now, these are be, this is the tire we've been using for demonstration for the past three years. And this is what we are still using here today. Now, what these nails are for, they are just to let you know that um, when your tire picks up a nail, tire protector seals it instantly. This is not the primary aim of tire protector. The primary aim of tire protector is blowout. But well, there's no how we can demonstrate how a tire blows for you now rather than use the nail. Because it also works for nails, work for screws, and any other thing that will make a hole up to 11 mm. So how does this device really work? Tire protector gets into your tire through the valve. Now, before we can pump tire protector into your tires, there's a calculation we do. Because there's different volume goes into different rim sizes different tires so when you do your calculation you get the volume that goes to the tire tire now we do that through the valve using this pump and this is the tire protector keg now if i do a calculation i have 500 mil going to this tire which means this tire this pump will go five times now from there i've dissipated 500 mil from this keg into this tire now the rest job is done by the driver or the owner of the vehicle so when you drive your tire the product spreads around the walls of the part touching the ground not the sides now the part touching the ground now when it spreads around then your tire is set for any penetration now if, you're t uh, if it spreads around and you pick up a nail it seals it instantly and like like i said your tire works perfectly when it is on motion. You can't pick up a nail while standing. When your car is stationary, you can't pick up a nail. You pick up a nail while driving. So when you drive and you pick up a nail, two things happen. It's either the nail comes out or it stays. Now, if it stays, just get a, uh, a plier and pull it out. But when you have a screw, your tire picks up a screw, you don't yank it out. You unscrew it because of the linings of the tire, because these tires are made of wires. When you yank it out, you distort the linings. Where you distort the line, li I mean the linings, then you have a problem from there. If you distort the lining, you realize that from that point, that part starts getting swollen. So that's why we advise that you don't yank it out, you unscrew it. But most of the time, we know Nigerians are not always patient. So what we tell them to do is leave it there. By the time your tire moves, the friction, there's a friction between this nail and the ground. And gradually this top eats off. And when it wears out, the tire protector sucks in the stud and seals that point instantly. It has some benefits. Uh, let me start. One is extend the last fan of your tire. You know, uh, these days when you get to a organizer, they heat your tire in several ways. It weakens your tire. But with tire protector, you are not heating anything. 
Abby. So tire protector works on its own. It doesn't need any human effort. All you need to do is just drive your car. So it extends the lifespan of your tire by not heating, by not burning the tire with uh, this rubber and all those things. Now, it saves fuel. Now, some people will ask why does it save fuel? When you have a wheelbarrow, uh, it has, is underinflated and you have a load on it, you use more effort to push it. But when the tire is well gauged, you use less effort to push it. When your tire is underinflated, your engine, you work more on the engine to move your car. But when your tires are balanced, the air is at the right PSI. It takes less effort for it to move. So when you overwork the engine, you use more fuel. But when you don't over, you use the normal fuel you are supposed to use. So it saves you fuel. It saves you money by not changing, going to organizer all the time. It saves life, like I said. Blowout kills a lot of people. We heard of the one commissioner, the minister, the other day. And even Obasanjo had the same, but we thank God for his life. But so many people don't have that kind of uh, benefit. So, tire protector saves lives also. Then it reduces down, down time. When you're going on the road and you have a light, flat tire, and you're supposed to get somewhere in 30 minutes, by the time you stop to change your tire and all that, you've used probably another 20 minutes. So, you have 10 minutes, and you have a distance of about 30 minutes to go. So. So when you have tire protector on your tires, it saves you time. Is there a, um, a particular spot or location he has to take this, uh, his tire to to get a, a tire protector? Who actually can use a tire protector? Do, you, do, I, do I have to be a professional to be able to use a tire protector? You must be trained before you can use a tire protector. A layman cannot just, you know, I told you there's an aspect of calculation. You have to measure the tires, the width of the tire, the breadth of the tire. You have to multiply it by a constant, and a layman cannot do such. And if I tell you what is pi, as a layman, you know, pi, what is pi? Is it mid pi or what? But well, pi is a constant in mathematics. So if you don't know that, then you cannot do the calculation. So you have to be trained. And one other thing that is that um, we don't have tire protector in small cans. Uh, we, don't, we are working on that, whereby you have, if I have a rim 15 now, and I know it's 500 mil that will go into, inside each tire. You can buy a two liter. So you dissipate 500 mil in each of the tires. Then you can do it yourself. But for now, we have a 25 liter keg. And if you buy a 25 liter keg, then you know how many years you have it in your house. So <laughs> that's where the problem is. So the thing is, we have branches in Lagos, in Ibadan, uh, Port Harcourt, Kaduna, Wari. And we are planning one in uh, Abuja very soon, probably in the next one month, we'll be in Abuja. So we are moving around gradually. Tire protector, like I said, does not expire because it is made of organic materials. It is not chemical. It's more of leaves and all these things, which is being combined together, and fibers. It is the fibers, the quantity of fibers inside the tire protector that makes it, because it is the fiber that seals those spots. Now, it does not corrode your rim. It does not corrode your rim, so because it's not a chemical, it's an inorganic, it's an organic chemical. I mean, organic material does, does not, it's not, it's non corrosive. It's uh, biodegradable. It does not affect any part of the body. Probably it's splash on your body. It's, ah, uh, it's up. No, it does not do that. So tire protector is safe at any point in time. What's up, boys and girls? You already know Shaman. He's right here, MTV Base Finest. Be safe on the road. Please keep it safe. Peace.